Hello Oracle fans, this is Justin, and in this Oracle YouTube video tutorial, I am going to show you the internals of the Oracle Data Dictionary. Okay, now we've, all DBAs, at any level I would assume, have heard, has heard the term, the Oracle Database Data Dictionary. Now, what is the Data Dictionary? Well, as we know, the Oracle Database exists because its main purpose is to store business data if you're using it for business purposes which majority people do okay so your accounts receivable accounts payable your general ledger um, employee information payroll so on and so forth so it's used to to track all sorts of data for business and both commercial and federal um, but Oracle database is also used to store database about itself so I guess Oracle is thinking okay well if we're going to store information um, regarding um, we're going to let uh, store business information for companies we might as well use this database technology to store information about the database itself now the, don't get me wrong I'm not saying that Oracle is that this is a unique feature of Oracle okay every date every major RDBMS software product out there IBM's DB2 Microsoft's uh, SQL server um, IBM's Informix uh, um, uh, Sybase and other databases out there all have some form of a, of a system catalog, some of them call it, or a, or a master catalog or whatever. Um, we just call ours an Oracle, the data dictionary, and the data dictionary is basically what what's known as in computer science language as metadata, and that's M-E-T-A data, D-A-T-A, and metadata is data about data. So it's nothing useful, in the data dictionary, there's nothing useful about your company, well, directly anyway it's just information about objects in an Oracle database like tables and table spaces data files things like that which are important to your business okay so it's just information about the database so without and there are three views now a lot of new DBAs or people new to Oracle get these views confirm uh, confused but they get the terminology confused really um, and say, oh, that that's the data dictionary, and it's not. It's a window into the data dictionary. Okay. Um, there's three sets of views that are directly related to the data dictionary of an Oracle database. You have your DBA underscore views, which are views which which mean of the entire database. Um, there's a user underscore view, which is all objects that that particular user owns. And then there is an all underscore view, which is all the objects that that user owns, plus all objects that that user has privileges for, object privileges for. Okay, and uh, refer to my data dictionary view video, where I go into more detail on that, on what they are and how they work. And I show you some examples and whatnot. Okay, so let's take a look at the data dictionary. Let's set up Oracle SID to finance. And by the way, this is any or this goes for any Oracle database you may come across. Uh, ensure we're set correctly to database finance, and let's log in using our SQL Plus program. And of course, ensure we're connected to the finance database. Select name for V dollar sign database finance. Okay, we're logged into our finance database. All right, let's do the following. Type in select view name from DBA views. Well, first let me do set calls on so it doesn't just scroll off the screen here. So we want to do select view underscore name from DBA underscore views. Now, we're selecting from the DBA underscore views view. Now, this isn't a data dictionary table. This is a view, a window, if you will, a view into the data dictionary. Okay? Um, this isn't actually the table itself. Okay, so view name. So this is going to show us all the views that are defined to this Oracle database. Okay, so we're saying select view underscore name from DBA views. And there it is. Here's, here are all the views which are defined in this Oracle database, regardless of who owns them. This is, that's what the DBA underscore one shows you. Okay, and there's a lot of 
default views in an Oracle database, as you can see. Okay, 3,352 of them. Okay, so that being the case, let's go ahead and let's look at the text of the DBA underscore uh, views um, view. <laughs> so let's go uh, set long 9000, select text from DBA views where view name is equal to DBA view. Oh, sorry. Okay, and if we look at the select statement here, we will we go right down the from, and you'll notice where it's selecting from. It's selecting from a table called view dollar. I mean, there's some other ones too. It's doing some table join. These are called joins. It's doing some joins here, but we're, we're we uh, I see a view dollar here, a user dollar, a typed view dollar. Um, so I see I see a lot here. Okay, but v dollar. Is the table view dollar is the table that we're that we're looking at here, so pretty interesting there. Let's take a look at select table name underscore name from DBA underscore tables, and this is going to show us all the tables which are defined in an Oracle database regardless of the owner. And here are all the tables. Um, defined in the Oracle database. Okay. And again, it's quite a few of them. Now, if we do a select text from DBA views where view underscore name is equal to DBA tables, and we look for our, this is a comp complex SQL statement so we're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna look for our from here it is from and we see a user dollar it's another table join here so we uh, we're, we're, we're um, joining multiple tables here so we see a user dollar we see a TS dollar we see a seg for segment dollar we see opt for object we see a tape for table object user blah blah and Here's some uh, X dollar table, virtual tables here as well. Okay, so the DBA underscore table view is actually selecting from these tables with dollar signs um, at the end of their names. Okay, and the same thing if we do select table space name from DBA table spaces which we've used this before in many videos in other videos select tables which shows us all the table spaces to find in, a, in our database and we do select uh, text from DBA views where view name equals DBA table spaces and we scroll down here we will see from and look TS dollar sign and then we're then we're looking at some other internal tables here so we see that we see that we're looking at tables that have dollar signs at the end of them so we say select table name from DBA tables where table name like percent dollar like that these are the data dictionary tables Forget about the DBA underscore table spaces or the user underscore tables or the all underscore views. Forget about those views, okay? All those views are just windows into the actual data dictionary themselves. They actually reference these base tables, these Oracle database base tables. And when you issue a create database command, what the create database command is doing is it is calling other SQL scripts which are... Um, supplied by Oracle, it's in your Oracle home, okay, during your Oracle home, which create these base tables. And the data dictionary tables all have a dollar sign after them. Okay, so right here, these are your database tables. Okay, and the names are pretty cryptic, as you can see. I mean, you can sort of make out what, what some of them are talking about, but they're cryptic for the most part. So, Data dictionary tables, the actual tables that make up the metadata of your Oracle database, 
all end in dollar sign, as you can see. Okay? Now, let's take a look at, let's describe, remember, these are tables. It's not like the X tables that we talk about in, in the um, per dynamic performance views internal Oracle video. Okay, these are actual tables that are that actually phys reside in the system table space in the system data file. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's describe one and let's describe TS dollar, which we de which we deduced from our last uh, select text query that um, it's the base data dictionary table which provides the DBA underscore view view with the uh, information about the fine table spaces that it needs. And look, these are the columns that are in the data dictionary base table TS dollar. So we're describing the structure of that table. And look, here are all the columns that make up that table. Okay? Some of them are, like I said, you can make out some of them, but but most of them are pretty cryptic. Compare that to DBA table spaces. Describe that view. And look. Makes a little bit more sense, a little bit more human readable, DBA readable, right? Retention, big file, table space name, block size, extent. Just a little bit, a little bit more readable. Now, go ahead and try to drop. Now, remember, um, in the if you if you go to if you watch the other internal. Um, there's, a, there's another internal video on YouTube, Oracle internal video I made, where I discuss dynamic performance views. And I talk about trying to drop fixed, dy fixed dynamic performance views or trying to drop the uh, virtual X dollar tables. You can't drop them because they're not real tables. Okay, They're created in memory every time you, and populated in memory every time, automatically every time you start an instance. And they're destroyed every time you shut down. The data dictionary tables are actual tables, is it like you would have in your um, HR department table space or whatever, or payroll table space or whatever. Okay, so they are they are susceptible to anything you can do to a regular table object. So let's go ahead and try to drop table OBJ dollar, and I just know that this is um, a. Well, I'll show you. I know that OBJ dollar sign, which means it's a um, data dictionary base table that's created with the create database command. I know that this is required for the Oracle database to be able to start up. And Oracle protects these objects. And you'll get this OR error if you attempt to drop it. And the error you'll get is, in this specific instance, is ORA00701. Object necessary for warm start and database cannot be altered. Okay, so there's certain even so it needed to put that protection in there because yes, you are you can drop certain these tables. So just you know be, be cognizant of that. So let's go ahead and let's show you how let's show you that you can drop a table. The select um, let's Let's drop that that view that uh, that TBA table one from before. So let's say drop t uh, table. Um, I'm sorry, the view one. Let's say drop table view dollar. Ah, we were able to drop a data dictionary table view dollar. Now attempt to select view name just like we did at the start just like we did at the start of video from DBA views. We get an error. Try it again. We get an error. Table review does not exist. So the table that the view DBA views view um, references, which is view dollar, does not exist anymore. So it's freaking out. Okay? And the only way, uh, only way to correct this when this happens is you need to recreate your database so it recreates the base table. That's the only way to correct this. And before we started this video, I made a, ba a cold backup of my database called Backup. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to abort this instance, Finance, because I don't need it anymore. I'm going to go to where my database files are. 
finance database. I'm going to blow everyone away. Uh, DIRC colon backup. There's my backup. And I'm going to restore my backup. And I'll pause this YouTube video in the interest of time while it's restoring. And as we can see, and uh, my date, um, database has been restored. DIR, there's all the files. So this is restored to prior to working on the video here. So we log in SQL Plus and we just start up our database per our how to restore date, a database from a cold backup procedure. No media or, or crash recovery um, necessary. We just restore everything and start it back up. Okay, and now when we do select um, view name from DBA views, everything's hunky dory again because that table has is now back is has is now present in the data dictionary again. Select table name from DBA tables where table name equals view dollar. Okay. So when you do a create database command, what the create database command, when you create your database, what that does is, and ref, again refer to my how to create an Oracle database video on YouTube as well on how to do on details on that, um, the create database command will create these base tables, okay, table name dollar, the data dictionary base tables. Then when you're done doing that, if, you, if um, you recall from that video, you then execute the Oracle supplied catalog that SQL script. And that script calls um, is a wrapper script which calls other Oracle supplied SQL scripts, which create these views on top of on top of the data dictionary tables. Okay, so if you go to um, our Oracle home on this box where we have Oracle installed on this particular system, which is Oracle App Product 1110 DB1. So that's C colon slash Oracle App Product 1110 DB underscore one which is the Oracle Home, and then we go to the subdirectory RDBMS, Relational Database Management System, and CD Admin, where all the scripts that Oracle provides are kept, PLSQL, wrapped PLSQL, and SQL scripts. And if we look at the catalog that SQL script, and if you recall from the Create Database video, to create an Oracle database, the procedure is we issue the Create Database command, which, does, which creates the files, the data files that we need, the control files that we need, but it also um, runs, but it also creates the, the data dictionary base tables that have dollar signs after after their names. Okay, then we manually run. If you remember with the add sign in SQL Plus, we run this script the, at the catalog SQL script, and this is the source code to that script. And this script, as I just mentioned, is a wrapper script because it calls all these other scripts here. Okay. And these scripts create the data dictionary views, your DBA underscore, your user underscore, and your all underscore views. Okay, I want to want to particularly look at this one, cdcore.sql. Okay, dir cdcore.sql. And remember, the catalog.sql script calls this, and there it is. And if we were to look at the source code of this SQL script. And we were to do a do a find on create view. I'm sorry, a find on DBA view. We will see the command, the actual SQL command, which which creates our DBA view view. And as you can see, it's saying create or replace view DBA underscore view. And here's the from from view dollar and then all the joins of the other base tables okay so you can see here clearly that the catalog that SQL command after you do the create database command calls these scripts and one of them happened to be CD core.sql which actually creates the data dictionary views on top of the the readable I should say human readable data dictionary views on top of the actual data dictionary base tables okay any further question on this? Questions on this? As always, uh, send me a message via YouTube or uh, comment on the video. Okay, thank you.